Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In chapter 3.2, we'll be learning about the discriminant and the nature of roots. Okay, so before I give you an introduction on this chapter, maybe let us just recall what is the meaning of the word discriminant. Okay, so recall that any quadratic equation can be written in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Okay, and recall also that there is a formula whereby we can solve for x, okay, if we know the values of a, b, and c. Okay, so over here, what we will do is to first, okay, write out this formula and then from there identify our discriminant. Okay, so the formula goes like this, x equals to negative b plus minus square of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so I will extract a portion in the formula. Okay, let me just highlight where the portion that I'm extracting. So I'll be extracting this portion over here, b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so this portion that you see over here is actually my discriminant. Okay, so the discriminant, okay, simply speaking, is just b squared minus 4ac. Okay, okay, so the lesson objectives will be to relate the nature of the roots to the discriminant and apply this relationship to solve problems. Okay, so recall that for any quadratic equation, there are three possible scenarios, okay, that can happen. Okay, so in the first scenario, the quadratic curve, okay, can touch the x-axis, okay, so at one point, at one particular point. Okay, so in the second case, the quadratic uh, curve can cut the x-axis at two points. And finally, in the last case, it is possible that the curve does not touch the x-axis at all. Okay, so in the first case, okay, we have the case whereby our this, you know, we have the case which is called equal and real roots. Okay, why is this so? Because there is only one root. Okay, so the root has the roots have to be equal, and you know the roots are real because we can solve for the root. So therefore, in the first case, your discriminant is equals to zero, and in the second case, we have distinct. Okay, because there are two distinct roots over here and the roots are real because we can actually solve for the roots. Okay, so your discriminant will be greater than zero. And finally, in the last case, okay, we have what we call imaginary or, okay, or we call imaginary, imaginary roots. Okay, so in the last case, your discriminant is less than zero. Okay, why is the roots imaginary? Because the curve does not cut the x-axis, so there is you know, no real roots. Okay, so we can also call this no real roots. Okay, so just to summarize, okay, in the first case, we have a positive discriminant. So there are two possibilities for the curve. The curve will cut the x-axis at two points, okay? And uh, in the second case, your discriminant is zero. Okay, so there is one real solution and the curve will cut the x-axis at one point. And finally, in the last case, there are no real solutions or no real roots and your discriminant is negative. Okay, so before I move on to the examples, let me also highlight that depending on the value of A, okay, what is A again? So remember that our quadratic equation is can al always be written in this form. So a is the coefficient of x squared. So when a is positive, we will get what we call a smiley curve, okay, or a curve with a minimum point. And when a is negative, okay, when a is negative, we will get a frowny curve, or what we call a curve with a maximum point, okay. So therefore, if you were to look at this chart that I uh, that, that is over here, okay, you will see that there are two possible scenarios of curves, smiley curves and frowny curves. Okay, so let's move on to look at some tangible examples.